Oh, praise God. Welcome to uh, another uh, healing school. Uh, and again, just have your uh, bits of communion ready. Let's see, oops. <laughs> And uh, have have the cracker, and I have the, uh, the 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 juice ready. So let's get started. Okay, Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, for this day. We thank you for your word that heals us, Lord God, and we just thank you, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, <clears throat> today I want to talk about Isaiah. Uh, actually, uh, I want to talk about a verse in Isaiah. And uh, Isaiah 41. So take a second here to warm up, but uh, I'm sorry, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah verse 40, verse 31. And it reads as follows. But those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings of eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I want to read that again. <clears throat> but those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, and they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Now, what's this have to do with healing? It has everything to do with healing. Waiting upon the Lord isn't just, oh, just, just waiting. Do, 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 do. Waiting upon the Lord means ministering to the Lord, means worshiping the Lord, means serving the Lord. Uh, so those who wait upon the Lord, and in your waiting, in your time of wait, love on God. So you're waiting for healing, wait on God. Uh, you're waiting for a manifestation, serve God, worship God. It, 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 it's, it's a simple thing to do. Just love him. Just thank him. Just do it over and over and over and over again. And it says, those who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up as wings of eagles. They will run and not be weary. Man, it, it is so exciting to know that if we wait upon the Lord, if we just serve him, then, then everything will be okay then everything will be all right. Patience is a virtue. <laughs> Patience is a virtue and it'll serve you well. It'll serve you well to wait upon the Lord and renew your strength. Okay, Mount up as, as, as wings of eagles again. Just take this day and say, I'm going to love you, Lord. I'm, I'm going to love you despite what I'm feeling, despite what I'm, what I'm going through. I'm going to worship you. And I'm going to love you. And Lord God, I'll wait on you. I'll wait on you, your healing power, to come over my life. Amen. Amen. So l l while we're waiting, <laughs> let's take communion. Thank God for communion. Thank God for this time of remembering what he did on the cross. What Jesus, what Jesus did on the cross for our sins and for our healing. Now remember, the word salvation means healing, soul, and body. It, it, it means salvation, soul, and body. It's for the entire being. Okay. So Heavenly Father, we thank you and we praise you, Lord God, that you sent your son Jesus down on the cross for us. And Father God, we just, we just thank you, Lord God. We just love you and thank you for it. And we take, Lord God, the bread. We take the bread right now, Lord God, the, the, which is the broken body of Jesus. Jesus, we take this right now as a sign of our healing, Lord God. And we take it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In the same fashion, Lord God, we take the fruit of the vine, Lord God. We take the cup, which is the blood of Jesus, Lord God. Pour it out for our sins, Lord God, for the forgiveness of our sins. And we just love you, Lord God, and we thank you for it, Lord God, for the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we partake of the blood 
of Jesus. Amen and amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God, for your blood. Thank you, Lord God, for your broken body, which heals us, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Lord God. Amen and amen. All right, so God bless you. See you next week.